Kali Linux walkthrough. When you first time install Kali Linux and start your machine, so the first screen which you will see is login screen. Here you need to type your username and password. In our case, we have Kali Kali and click log in. Either you can hit enter to login. Either you can cancel the login by click cancel. This is the login screen. So when you log in, the first thing you will see the desktop. Here you will find three icons on the desktop and the new Kali Linux trash. It's like a recycle bin. When you delete something, it go to trash. Then we have a file system, which we will discuss in the next video and the home folder. Next on the top left and right corner, you will see many icons, which we will discuss those icons one by one. So on the left end of the panel, the first icon, which is the Kali Dragon, it is a application menu. So when you click on this one, you will see all the application which is installed on this Kali Linux. And these applications are organized into category so that you can easily access these application. The next icon is the show desktop. Show desktop icon when you click it will minimize all open windows. If all window are minimized, when you click this one, it will restore all windows. So let's do two things to minimize all window and to restore all window, which is open. Then we have place step where you can easily access your folder, picture, my document and many other folder easily. Then after that, you will see the mouse pad editor. It's like a notepad. Then we have a browser, Firefox, which is by default installed in Kali Linux. You can access that one. Then we have a terminal, the terminal emulator to access. And then we have four, one, two, three, four work spaces. Workspace is basically is grouping the window and your desktop. It's like a virtual desktop. So suppose in one workspace, you want to open browsers. Maybe in the second workspace, you want to open your notepad or some other pad and documentation. And this way you can open another task and another workspaces. So it like to organize your work. So it's like a workspace is like having multiple desks in your room. Suppose you have four desks and each desk is like a separate space where you can work on different thing without mix up the things. So suppose one desk you put your document, maybe on the other desk you write and put some other stuff. So in this way, all the things are organized. So similarly, we have workspaces in Kali Linux. One, two, three, four, which I will show you now. After that, you will find task manager CPU graph, where you can see the CPU load of the system. Then after that, there is a network manager. When you click on that one, so you can assign IP address, DNS and gateway and other detail related to your uh, network configuration. It can be wireless and it can be wire. After that, we have a notification icon. It will show you all the notification. You can turn on and off as well. And you can do the setting for your notification. Then we have a power manager where you will uh, access the end to manage the power sources. So it can be wireless mic, it can be wireless mouse, it can be keyboard, it can be media player, etc. So all those things can be easily managed by this power manager, this icon. After that, we have a clock to see the current date and time. And then we have a action button. Those action button, the first one is the lock screen to lock the screen. And the second one is for many other things, this action button, such as to lock the screen, log out from the screen, switch the user, 
hibernate, suspend, restart, shut down your computer. All those things are available in the action button, the last one. And finally, we have a main desktop, which I told you. So let's go to our system. So the first thing is here, you need to type your user Kali and Kali to login. And then you will see your desktop. You will find three things, file system. This is all your file system. This is the home directory. And this is a trash recycle bin. Let's start from the top icon. This is the application. When you mouse over, you will see application. This dragon icon. So when you click, you will see all the application menu, which is organized. Information, gathering, vulnerability analysis, all these things are organized so that you can easily access. Also, there is a setting. These are the settings related to your system. All the settings you will find here. After that, suppose if you open, uh, suppose I open, uh, sorry, let me open something, a browser, and let me open terminal as well. Uh, let me open something else as well. Yeah, notepad. Okay, so this icon, you see, minimize all open window and show the desktop. So when you click, it will minimize all window. When you click again, it will open again. So let's do two things. Look at now. Restore the minimize window. Yes. And now it's a minimize all open window. So let's do two jobs, which I told you. The next thing is the click on this one so you can easily access your folder, such as terminal, your create folder, your desktop, your document, music, picture, public template video so this is the uh, uh, easily access places step then we have this like a notepad we have a text editor so when you click on this text editor this text editor is the mouse pad editor where you can uh, edit and you can type the, the detail like a notepad after that we have firefox browser and you know we use firefox browser to browsing for internet and then we have a terminal <clears throat> terminal emulator when you click it will open terminal emulator after that one two three four we have workspaces it's like a virtual desktop so and when i open firefox let's go to two in two i did not open anything let me open a few uh, notepad and the third one i will open maybe file system and the fourth one i will open home so in the four one is like a virtual desktop here i have open a home folder and the third one i have file system and the second one i have the mouse pad and the first one i have a browser so all the things are organized for that purpose we can use this uh, workspaces after workspaces <clears throat> Here you have a task manager. When you click, it will open a task manager. Either the CPU usage right now is uh, around 4%. So it will show you the CPU usage. But when you click, it will open a task manager, your CPU, your process, your memory and swap memory and all those things you can find from here. So let's do two things for you. After that, which I told you is a network manager. So when you click here, you can, if you have a uh, wireless, so wireless will show if you have a wire, so you can click on wire, you can disconnect, you can connect, you can disconnect and you want to connect and you can uh, edit as well. And you have VPN connection as well. So related to network related stuff. Okay. So it will, you will find them here. After that, we have a volume to increase the volume. Okay like and when do we have after that this is a notification area so if you don't want so you can uh, turn uh, do not disturb you can turn off as well and this is the notification setting you can do the notification setting which notification you want and how to display and all those things after the notification we have a power uh, a power manager so from here, when you click here, so it will open power manager. These are the details related to power manager. If you do any changes, okay. Then we have our date and time. When you click, it will show you the calendar. And then here is the time. After that, uh, we say it is action button. 
So the first one is lock screen action button. When you click, it will lock the screen. So after a while, let me click here. So it's, let me log in again. Okay. And finally, we have another action button. Okay, which is can do a lot of things for you. Log out, restart, shut down, suspend, switch user, and cancel as well if you want. So this is all about the uh, walkthrough of your Kali Linux when you first time log in, and then we have a desktop. So right click, you can change a desktop icon, theme, etc. All those stuff if you want. Okay, so let me change them back to the same. They said so this was the uh, walkthrough of Kali Linux when you install and you when you log in first time.